welcome to Way to Sun. <laughs> he's not behind the camera, he's beside the camera, so he can't see. <laughs> Please excuse the strange forehead that's popped into my screen. The camera. Stop it. <laughs> Alright, guys. I have a Dollar Tree haul. This is another one of those extremely rando hauls. Um, For you. Found. No, not, not really. It's not random. It's very random. Whatever. Okay. Uh, found some items that I have been on the hunt for. I can't tell you how long it's been. Literally. Literally to Literary. one more years Literary. that I've been trying to find a couple of these items. And finally, the store that we were at today had them. I was so excited. These. No, but I'll start with these. So, I'm going to start with Hubby's. Oh, okay. Yeah. Items first. Bought some more of the zip ties. It's for the storage unit. We use these on the storage unit kind of as a, not to keep it closed and keep people out. But in order for them to open it, they have to break it. So then we would know, right, that somebody's been in it. Because we are that paranoid. I'm that paranoid. Um, he also bought this Ninja Inflatable Bop Bag. Uh, I'm going to put it in the dojo. <laughs> what's that What's that called? Eat. Eat. In his Eat. Eat dojo. Which means what? Tell people. Home. He's in the home dojo. So he bought that. Don't know. This will shock you guys. SOS Tidal Wave. A Blu-ray. Who's surprised? It, Come on. It looks kind of interesting. Come on. Um, and wait, already, wait, wait, wait. Look, hold look. This look. I'm going to hold this again. It's in black and white. Oh, jeez and race. When did I'm you not, haul that? In the haul we did like a day and a half ago. I just bought this. No, you didn't. You just bought this one. You bought that one like two days ago. Did I? Yes. That's why it's open and used. No, I opened it and used it today when at the dojo. But I hauled it okay, a couple whatever. days ago. All right. So he also bought uh, some red duct tape today. The, he uses these for the tips on his student's belt. Students' belts when they get promoted within his system. So apparently he needed some red now. Because, you know, he bought blue the other day. Even though he doesn't remember that. But oh well. Oh, yes. I'm not going to hold the whole box of them because my arm can't handle that. He did buy 10... Yeah of these certificate frames not to put 10 certificates in but he's going to put 10 photos of himself with the fighting with, pictures with, yeah fighters uh, uh kevin randleman uh, yeah uh mark uh. the hammered coleman uh, <laughs> see uh so if you guys don't know Tom who, Erickson, who these people are, Dan Severn, they are UFC Chris fighters. Chris Lytle, uh, from the the Pat early Militish. okay from the early days of UFC, and we were very blessed and fortunate enough to be able to meet these people, hang out with them somewhat, chit chat, you know, have conversations. Hence me lighting up when he says Kevin Randleman, he's my <laughs> baby. That man, hey me my phone. I'll okay. show you. I will show you. I'm not even, not, not even, even kidding. kidding. Uh, he and I, we had a thing. Had a thing. Going. Oh, 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 oh. But there, there it is. There's, yeah. And no joke, hubby says, for real, he would have taken me home. Is that the kissy face one? Yeah, the kissy face one. <laughs> it's the only one I show everybody, because why would I show one where he's just standing beside me? Uh -huh. So, uh, to continue this haul, I have a, we bought a trash can for our bathroom. Um, I can't decide, I think I'm going to theme it a little bit, but I can't decide. Um, I might just go ahead and just leave it white, and that way when I change out the bathroom theme, which we know is going to happen sooner rather than later, you know, the, the toilet, or the trash can won't clash with whatever the new theme is, so... I don't know. You guys tell me. Would you decorate it or would you just leave it white so it's neutral and matches whatever comes? Um, I think you should glue shelves on it. I thought about it. I really did. But then, like I just said, you know, eight months down the road when I decide I'm over the, Knock the nautical off. or the... Take them off. Then it'll leave weird marks on the trash can. Whatever. So plus It's a I, dollar. Buy a new one. Well, see, there's that thought, too. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get their opinion on it before I do anything. Okay, so... Uh, I bought another roll of paper towel. 
I think we still have a roll. I I think we still have a roll underneath the kitchen sink, but I like to I like to keep them on hand at this point. Now that we have a home that I like to clean, which is not a phrase I ever thought I would say, like to clean. I actually enjoy I wipe the bathroom down about every day, don't I, babe? Yeah. Or at least every other day. Yeah. Uh, the kitchen countertop is cluttered, but everything is clean. I just gotta figure out where to put it because there's no space to put the stuff. Um, so, stop, stop. Um, I, don't want it. I had it the way I wanted it. Tough. Yes, ma'am. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I bought another broom handle. You guys will remember a while back in the cave, I bought one broom handle and then all the <clears throat> accoutrement to go on the end. Well, I've decided I don't want to take off the dirty broom head to put on a mop head. So now I have one for the mop head and the broom, of course, is actually sitting over there behind my husband because we, and I'm, I'm probably going to end up getting another yeah, handle and broom outside. because we use that one outside and I have this thing about using brooms that have been outside in my kitchen. I don't blame you. I, I don't, so I'm probably going to end up buying another handle and broom head. That's the outside sweepy thing. Yeah, can. that's the, and we do that. I do it two or three. Well, About three times a week yeah, at least. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we're we're kind of proud of ourselves because I've been actually normally, doing a lot more. We both have regular cleaning and yeah. not just regular cleaning, but I clean up after myself instantly. Instantly, right? Yes. We we both had a really bad habit up until this point of stick in the sink. We'll deal with it later. Yeah. Whereas now we're like just get it done and we don't have to deal with it later. Now. The one thing that we neither one of us do, and I'm not complaining about it, I don't know if I'm going to work on changing it because, honestly, it doesn't bug me that bad. Fly through space. Is we wash the dishes and we let them dry. Oh, don't put them up. I don't, we don't dry them and put them away instantly. We just let them dry. They sit on the counter. But there's no counter space. But well, for me, that's not a big deal because, I mean, you're just going to use them again. So why put them away? We tend to grab them from the spot where they're drying anyway. Yes. And, you know, we don't go to the cabinet and get another new one out. But anyway, so that's, anyway, I just, I had to boast on this a little bit because, I mean, I know that sounds like silly well, talk. Well, everybody do that? Yeah, no, everybody doesn't. And I don't know if it's, I don't know why. Like, I've, I've just decided. I know why I started doing it. You started reading that book? That book. He's reading a book. Um, you want to go get it? Yeah. That's right. He's been, oh. I got, I got like three of them. He's been reading this book. Uh, he actually got it at the Dollar Tree. Yes, I did. Uh. What is it called? A monk's guide. A monk's guide to, to cleaning. To a clean house in mind. And um, he's been reading it. I have not. I just knew that once I got a place. Because one thing we did over the past year or so of living in the cave and traveling when we were traveling was everything got washed instantly. We rarely set things aside. And so it kind of became a habit anyway. But we're maintaining that. And I'm really proud of us. All right. Sorry, I went on a bit of a backpack section there. Sorry. But I was, I'm proud of it. So, um, thanks. I patted my own, but thanks for the extra pats. I bought two of these magical sticker purse. magical purse books, coloring books. I will show them. Uh, the family member that I'm helping out has two daughters. One is four, one is ten. These are a little young for the ten-year-old, but I think she might enjoy it anyway and, and have fun doing it with her sister. Okay, I wish I had seen this in the store because I would have bought two, bought another one of these so I could have this picture for myself. Well, you know, there is a thing called a printer and a scanner. Oh, because I have one right here beside me to do that with. Dad has one. But I don't know when I'm going to be at your dad's. I can go. I can call. Anyway. Uh, I, 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 anyway. 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 I might. I, I don't know. I might rip it out of both their books. <laughs> oh, oh, <there> <laughs> anyway, I just thought it would be really cute and fun. Um, of course, the ten-year-old is on. Now I don't know where to sit stuff. Is on a, a summer break. School has let out, so I've got to find activities for both of them to do. This one is geared completely for the four-year-old because it is much larger pictures for her to color fish. and easier to do where's the there they are and of course to go along with this i bought some crayons these are the thicker ones sorry babe little heavier duty 
And I'm sure she'll like them because it's the pretty pony stuff. But those are nice, bigger crowns. And uh, I really got to get her her hand <laughs> coordination done. She's not she's not very coordinated yet with coloring and stuff. So we're gonna work on that a lot. Get her going. I want to get her up and up to speed and going. Um, I still have not seen really all the nautical stuff. Like this, I don't I don't think this was in the nautical theme. Maybe it was. Have you found this for me? And I had him grab it. Just see. It's not one of those super longer ones, but it's pretty cool. And I'm not going to do anything to this, just like I did not that sign that I hauled before this haul, in the last haul, uh, which is already hanging up in the bathroom. Uh, I'm just going to hang that as it is, because I think it looks cute. And then we also found this. Ooh. And I can't read what it says. It says salty air, seaside, and surf and sand. Thanks, babe. Bark, bark. And again, I'm not going to do anything to this. I'm going to hang it as is in the bathroom. Makes me want to go to Florida. I know, right? Hmm. 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 Ugh. Wait, hold on. I'm stuck. There we go. Uh, so anyway, I really like the way that stuff's looking in the bathroom. It's, it's looking really, really cute. Trying to think. I have. Excuse me. I have a couple of big pieces of art I want to do for in there, but the bathroom is almost done being decorated. Okay, remember when I said I've been looking for something for like two years? This is one of them. I our stores here in town have not had these for a while. A long, long, long while. I bought one, I have one last one. year. I got one last year. Was it last year? year? Yeah. Well, I'm kicking myself then that I get, didn't get one when you got one because I've been wanting them for a long time. I just don't know where it's at. Oh, no. So anyway, now I have one. And I'm very happy about that. There's a square on my screen. And I'm squaring up the square. <laughs> I totally wish you guys could see that right now. Oh, yeah, the square around your head? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was playing. Um... Anyway, we need to, or I, we don't, okay, we don't need to. I want to make a hook for Violet's leash that we keep right by, right now it's hanging on our door handle, which I hate. So I saw a uh, Facebook Dollar Tree Crafts, I think is the, the page. Please excuse me. I've not been feeling well today, so this is actually like taking more energy than I ever thought it would. Um. So anyway, but I needed some of these to make it with. I need three, comes in back in two, so I got two packs. I know these aren't the greatest, they're not like command hooks, but I'm going to glue them onto the piece that I'm putting them on so that they'll stay attached. And I really decided I liked the wood grain. I couldn't decide between the silver or the wood grain. Obviously I went with the wood grain. There we go. There's that. Another item I've been on the lookout for. Hi, baby girl. How are you today? Aww. Wow, it just came over and laid on my hip. What? It's about time for your nails to get trimmed again, girl. Okay. Um, were these itty bitty screwdrivers? I have not found these in a super long time. So finally, again. And we were out of store, out of town. I don't think I've mentioned that yet. Yeah. We were actually in a store up in Peru, which is like... 32 miles, 33 miles. 33 miles away from us. So, well, from Kokomo. From us, it's more than that because we're on the south side of Kokomo. But anyway, uh, really excited to find these. The past few days, how many times have I said, dang it, I need one of those bitty screwdrivers. Uh, a couple times, and yeah. I've been running around trying to find well, one thing it's, or another. Well, it's stuck in, in my tool holder I've got back there now, the one that's sitting on top of the desk. As a matter of fact, I think it's from one of these packs, because look, it's like the... No, the one you gave me doesn't look like that at all. Doesn't? Uh-uh. Okay. No. Um, something I don't buy a whole lot of from uh, Dollar Tree anymore is makeup, but they had this LA Smoothing Face Primer Color Correcting. As I get older, I've got a couple of blemishes and spots on my face that without makeup I just look splotchy 
So I thought I'd try this. Um, I figured for a dollar, you know, it's not gonna, hopefully not gonna kill me. Anyway, there's that. It looks, this, just looking at this, it looks like the Halloween makeup. You like it does. In the dark type. It does. I uh, decided to get us some chip clips. I've been... Stop. Sorry, Eric. Hey, hey. Shh, shh. It's okay. No, he's gone. Sorry, um... I'm guessing it's a person that lives here in the building somewhere. Somewhere. One of the neighbor kids, he I guess. He walks by. He does a lot of walking by. And the last couple of days that I've seen him, because he seems like he's really lonely. Like, he's got this just, he hangs his head a lot when he walks. And I don't know. So I, I'm, I'm trying to, like, I wave every time he walks by now, I guess is all I'm trying to say. I don't know. I just, I don't want him to look in here and see us being like, you know what I mean? Oh, goodness. I've talked to him. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, bought us some clips. We use these on chips or whatever needs, you know, help clothes in the kitchen. I know we've had these in the past, but I haven't bought any in, a again, long, a yeah. long, long while. Yeah. Um, these are a little bit different of colors. They're more pastels, not the bright, vibrant colors. I kind of wish I had gotten two of them. What oh, the? I know what that was. I just got paid. Oh, is that what it's right here? Oh, that's... Hold on a minute. Yep, yep. It makes a change noise. Yeah, it sounds like somebody's dropping change on the counter. I was like, what the heck? Oh, yeah. I, I was just thinking, somebody dropped change somewhere? I know, because it weird. sounded like somebody dropped it on the table. Yeah. So anyway, um, got these. It's <laughs> funny. I have one quote-unquote junk drawer in the kitchen. It's this really narrow little drawer. It's like, you know, six inches wide. <clears throat> I could probably put some of our bigger utensils in it, but I'm trying to keep all of the utensils and silverware in one spot. There is no room. There's no countertop for me to have none. For me, Richard's making fun of me over there. For me to have <laughs> a utensil holder on the counter, which I prefer to do, uh, but it's not going to happen here. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But we do have a few really nice wide drawers. I guess. Uh, some <laughs> dog here all over it. Something else that um, I've discovered here is that I run into walls a lot at night. When I'm trying to go to the bathroom, it's there like There is pitch. an outlet right here. Is there? Yes. Dang it. I knew I should have got two of these. So I constantly... Okay, so when I get up to go to the bathroom and it's like pitch black because we have blackout curtains in our... Um, well, that's another story. But anyway, we're getting newer curtains. Um... I can't see <clears throat> and even when like I grab sometimes I remember to grab my phone hold on V and sometimes I don't I run into the freaking wall because it's a really sorry V just bumped the camera uh, it's really like com, you know configured area back there anyway I got us a nightlight to put in the bathroom and and the other thing is I don't like turning on that light because I'm afraid because Richard's kind of light sensitive when he's sleeping. When I'm sleeping, it's, I'm out. Well, sometimes I turn on the light and you start rolling around. Do I? Yeah. So, you know, I don't want to disturb his rest because I hate when people do that to me. So anyway, I bought a nightlight for the bathroom. I am going to get another one and put it here in the hallway because at night, oh gosh. I'm watching Violet go to the bathroom and she's just like, wait, daddy, I gotta stop right here. I can't go no further. I gotta go. So anyway, sorry, this whole, this video is like crazy. I have not purchased these. This is another, I should name this video, uh, uh, like what? I'm trying to figure out, guys, put down in the comments what you think I should have named this video. Um, cause I'm thinking, you know, it's like, remember when and... <laughs> things I used to buy or something like that. So I bought some of these Mickey Mouse Kleenexes. I'm, and this, I know you guys, please don't yell at me. It's a dollar. I know we're going back to Disney and I know it's more than a year away, but I also know that, um, if you don't get it, when you see it, you won't get it at all with the Dollar Tree, right? If you don't get it when they got it, you're not going to get it at all. So I went ahead and grabbed them. Um, I do like to keep them in my purse or in our trout or park bag or whatever. And so I grabbed them because they're Mickey Mouse and they're cute. I have used these, like the ones that I had in the past I have used. So they're not bad quality. Um, 
Getting down to the basics here, guys. Getting down to the basics. This weekend is Memorial Day weekend, and I these say 4th of July on them, but I thought they were appropriate for this weekend as well. Michael and Jalinda are coming over on Sunday, and we're having pizza and ice cream Sundays. Uh, just as a get together, we're gonna play games and just hang out. And so I thought it would be fun to have some really cute plates. I couldn't find any napkins, which really bummed me out. I'm gonna go to our stores here in Kokomo and hopefully I can find them here. But I found these plates, of course, with the red truck. But honest to goodness, I liked all of this just as much as I liked the red truck. But it says like USA, Home of the Brave, 4th of July. What else has it got on there? Yeah, that's it. And then I love this little corner with the flower pot in it. Isn't that cute? So, yeah, I got those. And there's 12 in this pack. And then I saw these, and I thought, how fun would these be for the um, ice cream sundaes? They are six paper trays, and it's in that same Americana uh, pattern design. So, you know... There's only six of them in there. Not a great deal, but cute and fun for the moment, right? This is the first time Michael and Jalinda have come over and seen the place, but they haven't like hung out a whole lot. Jaden has been over a couple of times. He can't come. He's got to work, unfortunately. But um, I'm going to do another thing with him here in another week or so. So anyway, there's that. We also had to buy some caulking and some ant and roach killer uh our bathroom for some reason well we think it's because of the moisture in there the water well, we're getting ants well, we have figured from. out that's not the discussion not where they're coming from but why we know that's where they live <laughs> so we've seen the spots where they're coming in so we're gonna not recalk but add caulk uh to these spots and hopefully that will slow them down but we're also going to sprinkle some of this around uh, and hopefully that will help as well V doesn't go in the bathroom so before anybody worries that V is going to be exposed to this because it is a powder that you put down V doesn't go in there she hates the bathrooms she doesn't like getting a bath so she thinks if she goes in there she's instantly getting into the tub so we don't I'm not worried about that um, too too much and where they're at is like in the far back corners of the bathroom and like tucked behind the door where she doesn't go in. So I'm not freaked out. I am aware and we are going to keep an eye on her. And I'm not, it's not like spread over the whole floor. 